नमस्ते दोस्तों मेरा नाम सी राजेंद्र अरोड़ा है दोस्तों प्लीज अगर आपने अभी तक हमारा YouTube चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज कीजिए और बेल आइकन को प्रेस भी कीजिए ताकि आपको हमारे नए फ्रेश वीडियोस के बारे में इंटीमेशन अपने आप मिलते रहे दोस्तों आज हम इकट्ठा हुए हैं जीएसटी में थर्टी फर्स्ट जीएसटी काउंसिल मीटिंग के प्रपोजल्स को रिकमेंडेशन को डिस्कस करने के लिए काफी सारी बातें उन्होंने कल की मीटिंग में बाईस दिसंबर की मीटिंग में उन्होंने बोली दोस्तों एक एक करके उन सभी बातों के बारे में प्रपोजल्स के बारे में बात करेंगे ये सारे प्रपोजल्स और रिकमेंडेशंस जो हैं दोस्तों ये एप्लीकेबल होंगे उस डेट से जिस दिन ये नोटिफाई होंगे तो ध्यान रखिए प्लीज इनके एप्लीकेबिलिटी को ध्यान देने के लिए नोटिफिकेशंस को फॉलो करना बहुत जरूरी है सबसे पहले जो चेंज एक इन प्रिंसिपल अप्रूवल चेंज इन्होंने लॉ में चेंज करने के लिए मान गए हैं जीएसटी काउंसिल ने रिकमेंड किया है वो है आपने देखा होगा कि कई एडवांस रूलिंग अथॉरिटीज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्टेट्स में एक ही इश्यू पर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ओपिनियंस दे रही है उस कंफ्लिक्टिंग ओपिनियंस को कंफ्लिक्टिंग जजमेंट्स को एड्रेस करने के लिए एक लॉ में चेंज किया जा रहा है और एक सेंट्रलाइज्ड अपेलेंट अथॉरिटी फॉर एडवांस रूलिंग बनाई जा रही है जो कि उन कंफ्लिक्टिंग डिसीजंस को कंफ्लिक्टिंग जजमेंट्स को व्यू करेगा और अपना ओपिनियन देगा दूसरा एक इंपॉर्टेंट चेंज जो लॉ में लाया जा रहा है वो है सेक्शन फिफ्टी में जिसके ऊपर इंटरेस्ट का है दोस्तों दिस इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेलकम चेंज आज तक की टैक्स हिस्ट्री में फिजिकल लॉ की हिस्ट्री में स्पेशली इन डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस में जब भी इंटरेस्ट लगाया जाता था वो लगाया जाता था नेट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी पे नेट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी कैसे डिटरमाइन करते हैं जो भी मेरा आउटपुट टैक्स बनता है उसमें से आई डिडक्ट द इनपुट टैक्स ऑलरेडी पेड बाय मी नाउ इन दिस जीएसटी लॉ सिंस फर्स्ट जुलाई टू द इंटरेस्ट वॉज यूज टू बी चार्ज ऑन द टोटल आउटपुट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी से फॉर एग्जाम्पल द ड्यू डेट ऑफ फाइलिंग योर थ्री बीज ट्वेंटी एंड यू आर फाइलिंग ऑन ट्वेंटी For five days you have to pay interest, but you were, you must, you must have paid some input tax credit also through the by the way of some inward supplies. Now, without deducting that input tax credit, the portal was charging the interest on the gross tax liability. Say, for example, hundred rupees is my output liability, and seventy rupees is my input tax credit. It was charging tax on hundred interest on hundred itself instead of thirty. Now, this proposal has been. given by the gst council and they have agreed in principle to change section 50 and to charge interest under section 50 of cgst act only on the net tax liability i would say this is a very important change and after looking at all the proposals which they have made i would say that they have started hearing again i don't know what is the reason but yeah that yes, they have started and this was this was the uh, one of the important example that they have started listening to the common masses for their concerns another few uh, uh, proposals which are being suggested by the gst council recommended by the gst council and are gone to various committees are like they have thought of providing composition scheme to small service providers now the tax rate and threshold shall be decided separately it has it has been gone to the law committee and law committee will come back with their proposal then tax rate on lotteries or uh, required uh, are also been reconsidered that what tax rate should be charged and then tax rate on residential property in real estate sector so this is also been considered by the law committee and law committee will come back with its proposals for the change in tax rate on residential property in real estate sector another important change this which they are thinking of making is that they are reviewing the threshold limit of uh, turnover under gst regime this is again a welcome change presently it is 20 lakhs and uh, they are reviewing it that they may uh, increase that threshold limit also on other important changes which are been proposed recommended by the gst council one of them is you might be facing one very important problem which has been uh, to my understanding which has been ad addressed and rest in peace rest for peace for good one is that earlier when i used to pay tax so there was a problem i used to be hearing that cgst sgst was required to be paid igst paid in cash ledger igst was required to be paid cgst sgst paid this problem is been addressed now single cash ledger for each tax head now the gst tax to be paid and through that cash ledger gst paid 
आफ्टर पेमेंट ऑफ जीएसटी यू मे एडजस्ट द टैक्स टू सीजीएसटी एसजीएसटी आईजीएसटी अकॉर्डिंग टू योर ओन चॉइस तो इसका मतलब ये हो गया कि जो पहले आप सीजीएसटी एसजीएसटी और आईजीएसटी में आपस में इंटरचेंज टैक्स पे कर देते थे अब सिर्फ एक ही टैक्स पे करना है और बाद में उसको कहीं भी एडजस्ट कर लीजिए दिस इज अगेन अ वेलकम चीज आगे इंटरनल चेंज है कि एक सिंगल डिस्बर्समेंट डिस्बर्समेंट अथॉरिटी बनाई जाएगी जो कि सेंट्रल अथॉरिटी और स्टेट अथॉरिटी जिसने भी रिफंड अप्रूव कर दिया वो एक ही सिंगल डिस्बर्समेंट अथॉरिटी उसको पे करेगी इंटरनल चेंज आपको पता होगा कि दे हैव प्रपोज न्यू टैक्स रिटर्न सिस्टम नाउ दे हैव सेट द काउंसिल हैज रिकमेंडेड दैट न्यू टैक्स रिटर्न सिस्टम शेल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड ऑन ट्रायल बेसिस विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रिल 2019 एंड देन ऑन मैंडेटरी बेसिस विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जुलाई 2019 नाउ फर्दर नेक्स्ट फ्यू चेंजेस आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फॉर्म 9 9 ए एंड 9 सी फर्स्ट चेंज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देम इज ड्यू डेट ऑफ डेट 9 9 ए एंड 9 सी द ड्यू डेट ऑफ दीज एनुअल रिटर्न एंड रिकन्सिलेशन स्टेटमेंट वॉज अर्लियर एक्सटेंडेड टिल थर्टी मार्च through by way of an order now they have proposed that it would be further extended to 30th june 2019 and there are few changes which are been proposed in form 9 and 9c first is 9 and 9a me ek bahut important har table ke upar baat likhi hai unhone kaha ki as declared in returns filed during the year so information kaun si jani hai jo returns mein file hui hai us particular heading ko change karke unhone likhna hai likh propose kiya likhne ka made during the year iska matlab 9a aur 9 9 aur 9a mein jo outward supplies aapne made during the year ki hai iska matlab ye jo annual return ka real purpose hai ki aapne agar koi particular cheez apni return mein file karne se chhoot gayi hai to aap annual return mein dal kar usko reconcile kar sakte hain report kar sakte hain अगला चेंज जो है वो 9 और 9 सी तब फाइल हो पाएगा जब आपके 1 और 3 भी सारे फाइल होंगे अदरवाइज आप फाइल नहीं कर सकते उसके बाद आपको याद होगा कि इनवर्ड सप्लाईज की इंफॉर्मेशन देनी थी अभी तक तो हम जीएसटी आर वन में अपने आउटवर्ड सप्लाईज की एच एस एन वाइज इन्फॉर्मेशन देते हैं इनवर्ड सप्लाईज की कहीं इन्फॉर्मेशन जाती नहीं है ना वन में जाती है ना थ्री बी में जाती है तो यहां इन्होंने मांगी इन्होंने कहा कि एच एस एन वाइज अपनी इनवर्ड सप्लाईज की इन्फॉर्मेशन दो अब उसको कैलकुलेट करने के लिए उसकी जो प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व किया थोड़ा सा उन्होंने कहा कि भी वट एवर इनवर्ट सप्लाईज विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट टेन परसेंट और मोर ऑफ द टोटल इनवर्ट सप्लाईज ओनली फॉर दो इनवर्ट सप्लाईज एच एस एन वाइज रिपोर्टिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी मेड रिलीफ देन एडिशनल पेमेंट अंडर दिस फॉर्म नाइन सी वुड ओनली बी मेड थ्रू इफ यू हैव इफ ए ऑडिटर रिकमेंड इफ एर ऑडिटर प्रपोज एडिशनल पेमेंट ऑफ टैक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दंसलेशन देन दट पेमेंट हैज टू बी मेड थ्रू डी आर सी जीरो थ्री ओनली देन ऑल दीज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट चेंज विच इज देयर टिल नाउ इन फॉर्म नाइन सी वेरिफिकेशन वॉज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी मेड ऑफ दिस फॉर्म बाय दी ऑडिटर ओनली नॉ टैक्स पेयर शेल ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू make verification like he has to certify the has to sign this form 9c that i have also verified and all the information pr- provided in this form 9c is true and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief so this verification would also be required to be made by the tax payer in addition to the auditor now some dates have been extended are proposed to be extended please mind my words these all changes would be implemented through by way of separate notification so please do not consider these have come into force these proposals which are been suggested recommended by the gst council on 22nd december in 31st meeting would be implemented through separate notifications my dear friends the due date for filing of gstr 8 of for e commerce operators For the month of October, November, December has been further extended to 31st January 2019. ITC 4. This is been this is been this is been known to the government that ITC 04 has not been filed by majority of taxpayers. ITC 04 is required to be filed for transactions of job work, movement of goods sent on job work, received back from job worker. So this due date also from July 17 to December 18. is extended to 31st march so those who have not filed will be able to file without any late fee another welcome change which i would say there is one writ petition also filed in gujarat high court with respect to this particular issue my dear friends and it is with respect to section 16 subsection 4 
it, of CGST Act. It was talking about you might be, uh, you, you must be remembering that till 25th October 2018, jitne bhi 2017-18 ke invoices ke credits the, unke credit aap le sakte the. 25 अक्टूबर 2018 वैसे तो 20 अक्टूबर 2018 उसको पांच दिन एक्सटेंड किया था बाय द ड्यू डेट ऑफ फाइलिंग ऑफ जीएसटीआर 3 बी ऑफ सितंबर 18 एंड द ड्यू डेट वाज 20th फर्दर एक्सटेंडेड बाय 5 डेज 25 अक्टूबर नाउ दैट इज बीइंग रीकंसीडर्ड बाय ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मच ह्यू एंड क्राइ इन द सोसाइटी दैट द इनपुट टैक्स क्रेडिट ऑफ 1718 शुड बी अलाउड टू द टैक्स पेयर नाउ दे हैव प्रपोज्ड दैट this shall be allowed to be taken as credit till by the due date of filing of 3B of for the month of March 19. So that makes us 20th April. Till 20th April 2019, you may take credit of those invoices which were forgotten to be taken pertaining to previous year 2017 and 18. Financial year 2017 and 18. Another change. RFD 01 is filed for filing refund. Now, after filing RFD 01A, RFD 01A instead of RFD 01, RFD 01A was required to be filed for filing claiming refund. Now, after filing this RFD 01A, invoices and documents which are there for claiming the refund were required to be submitted separately to the jurisdictional nodal officer. Now, they have proposed that all those invoices and documents can also be uploaded along with the RFD 01A only in order to reduce the interface between the department and the taxpayers. So, this is again a welcome change, I would say. RFD 01A again shall be used in addition to uh, filing claiming for refund for zero rated supply for further four more type of refunds. One is there is a refund on account of assessment, provisional assessment, high court order or other order or tax paid uh, interchangeably like one transaction is considered as intrastate subsequently found to be intrastate or vice versa tax wrongly paid excess payment of tax, cash tax, extra paid or any other type of refund. So RFD 01A only shall be used for filing these refund applications also. Now another relief to all those migrated taxpayers which could not complete their migration. Till 31st August 2018 there was a facility provided by the government that till 31st August you may give relevant details to the nodal officer, jurisdictional or nodal officer for completing your migration process. What happened actually was few, many of them, many of the registered taxpayers who were earlier registered in erstwhile regime could not complete their uh, migration process provisional ID were generated but could not complete their migration process. So another window for completing that migration process is being generated by the government wherein the detail to the jurisdictional nodal officer can be submitted by the taxpayers till 31st January 2019 and uh, subsequently uh, uh, consequently uh, the date of filing of return from July 17 to December 18 has been further extended to 31st March 19. Now uh, another uh, uh, this uh, next uh, fee waiver is for for one and all. If you haven't filed your GSTR 1, 3B or 4 from July 17 to September 18 monthly or quarterly whatever it is you can file those all returns not filed up till without any fee if you file after 22nd December but before 31st March. If you file till 22nd December till yesterday you will be required to pay fee. If you will file post 22nd December I do not understand why 22nd December is being uh, decided as a cutoff date. If you have to give a waiver you may give to those also who have filed earlier but anyways but still those who will file with effect from 23rd December till 31st March, all those returns July 17 to December 18, GSTR 1, 3B or GSTR 4, no fee shall be charged. Another important proposal recommended by recommendation by the GST Council, if you have not filed your two consecutive tax period returns, you will not be allowed to generate your EVA bill. This is again a very important change. Please mark this and if 
ईवे बिल्स जनरेशन इज स्टॉप यूर बिजनेस इज स्टॉप सो प्लीज काइंडली फाइल यूर टैक्स रिटर्न इन टाइम सम क्लैरिफिकेशन आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी वुड बी इशूड बाय द डिपार्टमेंट अनदर लास्ट चेंज विच इज बीन प्रपोज यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट देर इज एन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट विच इज बीन approved by the president of india also in august 2018 and it is still has not seen the light of the day it has been proposed by the gst council in this 31st meeting that that cgst uh, as cgst amendment act 2018 shall be notified with effect from 1st february 2019 so please mind my dear friends all those changes which were suggested by that amendment act would come into force with effect from 1st february 2019 for for knowing all those changes you may see our other video which is there in our on our youtube channel which is uh, which is there on uh, amendment act we have recorded another video for uh, 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 deliberating upon the changes proposed by the amendment act and all these again i am repeating my dear friends that all these changes shall be notified separately thank you very much for watching our video please subscribe our youtube channel and thank you very much